Hey, what's going on guys? It's G-Rad here, and today I want to talk to you about opening Cakewalk Sonars.CWP project files in Reaper. Now by default, Reaper cannot see these projects, much less open them, and with this DLL called Reaper CWP, it will actually allow you to open Sonar project files with the proper structure, time formats, and a whole bunch of other things converted over properly. Now this project is still in development so not everything is converted over yet but it is constantly undergoing updates. The project has been created by my friend at acslow.com who is also the same person who has helped me make my Sibiac NVDA add-on and has also help me make Sonar X3 Producers Edition accessible using a Behringer X Touch Compact or my PS4 controller. Now for this particular video I no longer have Sonar even installed on my computer and being blind you will hear my screen reader but this applies to anybody looking to open Sonar projects in Reaper not just for the blind. Now with that being said I can simply go ahead and get started on this and while doing so just remind you that Reaper is very versatile and universal so the conversion process is a little bit different and I will explain that as we get started so what we're going to do is we're going to go to azslow.com and we're going to download the zip file that has the Reaper CWP DLL in it so let's do so start window Asload. As unknown so here we're going to go straight to the main page. We're going to go here. People with 19 rows and four. Row, 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 row nine. Row, row 11 link graph. Column two visited link REACW. We're going to go to the REACWP -E thread, and then from here. Five. Column three link subject slash row two visited link about slash installation. We're going to look for the about installation line. thread here. About slash. And then here we are going to look for the development version link. REACW development version visited link. It says alternatively you can download the latest development version, which is a test version, which is essentially the newest version. Has all the previously working updates in it. And of course any new creation develops and possibly creates new bugs. And I will link you to all this information in the description. So let's download here. AZ slow the latest. You list with three items, a three equip zero zero R two B forty seven dots if visited link. Now, I already have this downloaded, so I'm not going to download it now, but this is where you will download it. So let's close this out. OBS 64. OBS. Okay, cool. This piece, Jared Duval, 1 of 14. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my downloads, which is where all my downloads are stored. Downloads, row 1. Downloads. And you can see there's a zip file. I'm going to extract it. Downloads window. I'm going to go into the folder. And I'm going to copy the 64 bit file. Select it. It's, see, there it is, Reaper to yellow. So there's Reaper CWP. So we're going to copy it. I'm going to close out this folder because I don't need to be in here anymore. And I'm going to open Old Reaper. Reaper. OBS Studios, open Office 4.1. Reaper, X60. Reaper. Reaper V5.77 slash X64 registered to Jared Duke. Now, what I want to do here is I want to go to the Reaper resource path in Explorer. And to do that, you're going to, you know, hold the control O to go to the options. Open no. project dialog file name. No, excuse me, file that's open the project. I meant to go to Alt O. Preferences. Show external time codes. Show Reaper resource. And so I'm gonna go here. Reaper, Reaper now that I got the resources folder open, Reaper I'm gonna close Reaper. Reaper. And in the resources folder, I'm gonna look for the user plugins folder. User plugins 19 of 37. Items view list. And I'm gonna paste that DLL file in here. Selected. The reason I closed Reaper when I did this is it will cause less problems much less it'll actually make the DLL work whenever you install it and reopen Reaper. Otherwise you could cause freeze ups and everything in Reaper. So I installed the plugin in the folder. Now I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna reopen Reaper. Overview list. Open up Reaper. Air Reaper. Reaper V5.77. Now I can actually open CWP files using Reaper. So let's do that. Open project dialog. Cakewalk projects. Items view list. Audio not completed out. Items view list. 2000. 2017. Eight. Items view list. Zero 0508. The way it is 8 of 12. Zero 09 moving on without. I use this song. 
Song.cwp2. So there's song.cwp file. That's the Reaper project file. Reaper. R-E-A-C-W-P 0.0. Now here it's going to give you a lot of information in regards to, you know, who the author is of the program and whatnot. And it'll tell you that not everything is converted. That's talking about sonar in general. But it'll tell you how many problems you will have. And in my case, I don't have any problems. So I'm just going to hit enter. But this coming up next is going to be a missing plugins dialog which in my case I have missing plugins Project because okay button. I don't have some of the same plugins since I no longer have sonar even installed on this computer so all the sonar project plugins are gone but that doesn't stop me from opening the project and being able to use it one open, fo one open folder master zero items and I was going to explain to you now that I'm here that Crack. In Reaper, tracks and buses pretty much work hand in hand. Everything, it's all universal. And as you can see, I have a master folder. One open folder, master, zero items. That was my master bus in Sonar. Two metronome, zero items. The metronome was the metronome bus, but since there's nothing in it, it's obviously just a track. I can delete that. Track removed. Now, I want to turn the master folder into just One a open track. Master, zero items. Because everything that's inside there is coming from all the stuff that was linked to the master folder. Now, I'm going to go to my guitars folder and explain to you how the guitar tracks and the went to the guitar bus are now just the guitar tracks in the guitar folder. Two preview zero items. Three open, four, five open folder base zero items. Six end of seven open folder guitars zero items. See, there's a guitars folder, which is the same thing as the guitar bus. Eight L guitar one item. There's my left guitar. Nine and a folder R guitar two items. And there's a right guitar. That's the two stereo guitar channels. Eight L guitar one item. Also, I have the ability to use my markers. Intro marker bar two, verse one marker bar fifteen beat one. Prochorus one marker bar, chorus one marker, verse two marker, prochorus, chorus two marker, intro marker bar two beat three. So let's start this. Let's play the song. Play. So, yep. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring up the volume since I'm not using some of the same plugins anymore. Seven open folder guitar, zero items. So, to do that, you're going to go to the bus since that's what is being controlled. Rooting for track. Selection removed. And just bring it to zero. Six and five open folder base, zero items. Rooting for track five. Selection removed. Let's try it again. Play. And that, my friends, is opening a Cakewalk Sonar project file in Reaper. And everything is the same, even the MIDI is still there. And I'll show you the synth rack where the drums are. Folder, R guitar, two items. Ten open folder, synth rack, zero so there's items. a synth rack, which you can actually delete that if you want to. It doesn't really matter. Eleven open folder, addictive drums, two, zero items. Well, see, there's my addictive drums, two actual synthesizer. Twelve end of folder, addictive drums, two, one, one item. And there's the MIDI that it was associated with. And if you go up here, you will see under the drums bus. and folder, addictive drums, two, one master, stereo, zero items. So there's the stereo auto audio for addictive drums too. Now there's not even the effects in there. Scanning direct X FX at FX two. Now the reason being is because that was just the actual track that housed the effects for addictive drums too. But since Addicted Drums 2 is actually in the synth rack, it's under the synth rack section instead, along with the MIDI that was associated with it. And the MIDI, of course, is a carbon copy. Everything's a carbon copy. Even the metronome works. Metronome on. One master zero items. One master zero items. Muted. So there's the metronome. Unsaved project Reaper V5.7. Stop. And it converted that and everything. A lot of stuff is converted. And like I said, you can go to AZ Slow's website to see the latest developments in this project and see what is and is not being processed with this RE, you know, Reaper C. I call it RE ACWP, but this Reaper CWP DLL plugin. 
So hopefully this has helped a lot of people out. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I will do my best to help you answer them to the best of my ability and as quickly as possible. So thank you again, guys, for coming by and checking it out. And I hope to see you guys soon. Until then, this is G-Rad signing out saying peace. Before I upload this video to YouTube, I want to toss on this quick little answers to possible questions video to answer a couple of major things. Number one, your effects that you do have on your computer that are still installed that you used in the Sonar Project files will transfer over to Reaper. This includes VST2, VST3, DFX, etc. Number two, volume and panning and envelopes, which is the same thing as automations, will also transfer over. Freezing of tracks transfers over. Stretch markers transfers over. To see a full list of everything that is transferred over, of course, look in the change log link that I will be posting in my video description. Last but not least, when you save your projects, you cannot save them as a CWP file. They will save as a Reaper project file from there on out. Hopefully this has been informative and can answer a lot of questions. But as far as helping you get this project installed and going, I can't guarantee anything as so would AZ say. You use as well as you know how to use it, but I will help you with whatever I can. So please keep that in mind. All right, guys, this is G signing out saying thank you again for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you.